We have the investigation into Princess Diana's bombshell interview that rocked the royal family 25 years ago. The BBC is set to reveal its findings after Martin Bashir was accused of duping her into doing the interview. James Longman is at Buckingham Palace with that. Good morning, James. Yeah, good morning, Michael. It's one of the most famous television interviews of all time when Princess Diana told a BBC reporter there were, quote, three of us in this marriage. But just how did Martin Bashir get that interview in the first place? Well, a BBC investigation is going to find out. Did things come to a head? Yes, it was slowly, yes. This morning, all eyes on the BBC as they prepare to release the results of an investigation into just how Martin Bashir managed to scoop the world in that controversial 1995 Panorama interview with Diana, Princess of Wales. The big question, was she duped into doing it? This phrase on Charles's affair with Camilla Parker Bowles, living on in infamy. Well, there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. <laughs> Diana also pulling back the curtain on motherhood, her personal battle with an eating disorder and her thoughts on her estranged husband, the heir to the throne. Do you think the Prince of Wales will ever be king? I would think that the top job, as I call it, would bring enormous limitations to him. and I don't know whether he could adapt to that. The exclusive sit-down with journalist Martin Bashir aired 25 years ago and was watched by nearly 23 million people. But now, after concerns surfaced last year over how Bashir and the BBC secured it, the network is set to reveal the findings of a recent internal, independent investigation conducted by lawyer Lord Dyson. If there is new information that establishes, that changes the dynamic in which she made the decision to do that interview, then for many people and for the record it is very important that that is established and that that is known and understood and made public. Diana's brother Earl Spencer alleging Bashir used forged bank statements to suggest that two employees were being paid to gather intel on the princess, a betrayal he says convinced Diana to do the interview. Now Spencer is demanding answers, opening up to UK's ITV about the responsibility he feels towards his sister. I, I feel it's my duty to stand up for her when I can. She left me as, for instance, guardian of her sons, etc. So I, I feel there was a, a, a trust passed on. So, yeah, I feel very passionately that I have a role to, to honour her memory. The interview sent shockwaves around the world, forever changing the monarchy. In November, Prince William was among those supporting the investigation, calling the official inquiry a step in the right direction and adding that it should help establish the truth behind the actions that led to the Panorama interview. The BBC, meantime, postponing their planned investigative programme, delving into the controversy. It was originally set to air Monday. The BBC told ABC News the delay was due to a significant duty of care issue. Bashir stepped down this week from his position at the BBC due to ongoing health issues. The results of this investigation could come this week. The BBC has previously apologised for the use of those allegedly forged bank statements, but they've insisted that they played no part in Princess Diana's decision to do the interview in the first place. Michael? Yeah, that interview opened a lot of eyeballs, James. Thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.